welcome back. I'm Brain Error, and today we are continuing Dream Machine 2. We are in chapter 4, and we just discovered this room full of cactuses. Yeah, so let's see what this is all about. This was Mr. Morton's secret room. Mr. Morton was the guy who, in, well, maintained the dream machine with his family. And the dream machine has gone rogue and we need to stop it. So we have to enter all these people's dreams. Um, yeah, and now we're just trying to find out how we can enter other people's dreams. So we found this secret room full of phallic cactuses. Can I turn on the water? No? Oh. Uh, uh, uh. Why is it vibrating towards me? Okay. Oh, what did he say? I'm, 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 uh, you know, trigger finger, I do that with my mouse. I click way too quickly. It's very annoying. I know. I know, I know, I'm very aware. I'm very aware of all the annoying things I do. <laughs> uh, examine bucket. There's a pool of brown sludge at the bottom of the bucket. Nice. Um, examine electric water boiler. Also known as a kettle. He had one of these in his kitchen as well. I guess he used to drink a lot of hot beverages. Maybe. Examine desk. Ooh. Pick up pestle. Cool. Can I take the mortar? No. Just the pestle? Alrighty. Pick up beaker. Pick up pills. Well, how about the spoon? Did Mr. Morton suffer from some kind of ailment? Yeah, I don't think it was that. Pick up spoon. Ooh, the spoon. Okay. Uh, open valve. Oh, no, close valve. I think I need to find a lighter somewhere first before I open a valve full of gas. Actually... Do you think they would implement it? That if you leave it open and then you light it, they explode and die? That'd be pretty cool. Looking cupboard. There are two bags of topsoil in here. Okay. There's mainly gardening equipment in here. Okay. There are empty ceramic pots in here. There are bags of fertilizer in here. Okay, grand. There are many, mainly books on topics such as farming and gardening. Uh, what about these books? Most of these are about cacti and succulent plants. Uh, there's a lighter in here. Might be useful. Examine beer bottle. Cheers, old fool. Uh, okay. Right, we don't need this. Oh, there's a book here. Pick up book. What is this phallic one here, though? That's, like, really bad, isn't it? Gosh. Looks like Mr. Morton kept a notebook. Okay, let's look at that. There's nothing here. Oh. I've managed to improve father's recipe again. Toasting the petals before powdering makes them way more potent. But I have to be careful not to burn them. Any charring ruins the batch. Right, there's a good hint there. The ideal way to administer the sleeping agent... Ah, sleeping agent? Would be in gaseous form. I'd have to make adjustments to make sure enough transfers across the blood-brain barrier. With a high concentration, I might be able to pump it under the apartment doors. The patient would have to be quite close to the door, otherwise I'd have to enter the apartment. A risk I dare not take again. Right now, it looks like we'll only be able to keep the clinic open for another year or so. After that, we'll likely have to start subletting parts of the estate. Hopefully, this will only prove to be a temporary solution. The experiments on the patients in 2B have so far proved fruitful. Their youngest seem very receptive to the compound's effects, falling into a deep sleep for a full day, even on minimum dosage. Unfortunately, this has alarmed the parents, who have sought medical advice on several occasions. Why are these little stripes? We will have to suspend further charting until the attention dies down a bit. Our findings so far the younger the patient, the closer their dreams appear to the center of the dreamscape. But even an infant is already removed from the core of dreams. How can we get closer? How much is there? Wowie! Whoa! Okay! Sleeping powder! Few red petals, few blue petals. 
sap and crush nimetazepam and my medozolam. Is nimetazepam not a antidepressant? Oh, there we are. So that's his dad, Frank Morton, died at 4 p.m. March 27, 1997. And then that's me and wifey. <laughs> Pregnant couple. I was able to rescue the situation somewhat with my sob story. As a safety measure, I'll forge a marriage and death certificate in case I need to back need to back up any upcoming improv improvisations. Unfortunately, I'm almost out of carrier gas. I've placed an order, but who knows how long delivery will take this time. And. He has a photo of Alicia's ultrasound. That's creepy as fuck. What? So... These are the other people that he's... Um, oh, this is one of the residents now, right? The new patient is set to arrive on Tuesday. Ah. So yeah, oh... That's how the, the thing works. So powder funnel, vent selector, powder indicator, gas canister slot. Right. And this is the route that I need to get stuff from. Oh, these are... Um... Oh, of course! These are the staples! That's so cool! So there's a staple here and there's a staple here. And you see them on the other side. I love that. I love the attention to detail like that. I, I really, really, really appreciate that so much. I cannot express. <laughs> I really, really, really love that. Oh, see, all the little things together like that makes a fantastic hole for me. So it said door code A to B. It says B here and it says A there. So like that. Oh, look at that. So it's two eight four six nine one. 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 Yes. Hey. But I also want to pick some some petals. We need blue petals. Uh, do we need red ones? I don't think we need red, red ones, but I'm gonna pick them anyway. And blue. I've already got some blue. Okay, good. Oh, and what's this one? White petals. Have some white ones as well. Let's have all the colors of the rainbow. Rainbows are always super nice. Right. Oh. Uh. Cactus root. Uh, the root of the cactus is very coarse. Like a cross between leather and bark. It's very tough. Okay, so I guess we need to cut that. Pick up pills. So we've got the two pills. Skin lotion? It's a jar of psoriasis cream. Ugh. Poor guy. Psoriasis is horrible. Ashtray. Mr. Morton has smoked this last. Galois is brunes. Okay. Um, turn on water? Oh, I can turn it on? Okay. Examine towel. The towel is surprisingly clean. That's not a good sign. Uh, washing machine? It's an empty washing machine. Okay, so examine bucket. Um, how? Oh! Can I put this in here? Yeah. Open faucet. Okay, so it's dripping. Close it. Uh, can we use the beaker under it? Nothing happens. Okay, open it first. Then beaker. I've collected some of the cactus sap in the beaker. Okay, close it again. We don't, we don't want to kill the root, you know? Just because it's been suspended there by Mr. Morton does not mean that we have to be careless with its life. Right. Go back into the greenhouse, I guess. Um... I 
I hope there's not a way, like um, a specific way that I have to put these ingredients in. But we'll, we'll light this first. Open valve. Use the lighter with. Um, put these in here. And then pick up spoon. Uh, is this what I need to do? Okay, how do I know it's doing it? Oh, oh, puff of, puff of smoke. I guess, oh shit, when it stops puffing. How do you know it's too much? Oh, oh, oh. Okay, drop spoon. Take the, no, I want to take the flowers. Ah, there you go. Yeah, so they're dried. And what else do we need? I need to go back to the recipe. Uh, where was the recipe? The recipe? The recipe? Yeah, so red. Oh, we did need the red one. Haha, -ha, see how good I pay attention. Uh, that was a great sentence. Few red petals, few blue petals, sap, and then crush those. But does it need to go into a specific order? Doesn't look like it. Does it say anywhere? Uh, no, I don't think so. I don't think... Well, maybe it's red first, then blue petals, then sap, and then that. We'll do it in that order because that's how it's written down. Um, so we need some red petals next. No, I was looking at this. Okay, red... Go in here, pick up the spoon. I kind of like this actually, it's pretty cool. Okay, puff, puff, puff. Once it stops puffing, put it back down. Take the red petals. And then we'll just switch this off for now, because uh, I know it's a game, but it still makes me very nervous to leave any uh, open flame and gas just running like that um, so we'll put this in here crush 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 you I crush you okay pick it up and then this one crush you that's a lot of pills okay so we've got everything so it was red petals first Oh, I need to crush these. Ah, because it's a powder and then I can mix it in with the sap, of course. So maybe there isn't a way... Oh, shit. Maybe there isn't a way of doing this then. Like in an order. Maybe... I hope there's no order. I hate it when there's orders to things. So we've got the Dormicum, the Aramin... The red powder, the blue powder, and we've got the sap. Did someone just knock on the door? Right, so... We'll start with red powder and beaker. Uh, blue powder and beaker. Uh, let's do this one, and this one. Okay. I've put the airman powder into the beaker. The contents of the beaker turned into a strange powder. I'd be careful, I'm getting dizzy just being close to it. Hey, we did it! So there was no, no order to it, which is great. Don't like the uh, ominous howling in the background though. Um, so we've got the powder. Do we need to take the gas canister with us? This canister of compressed gas. Can I take some with me? Because he said that he was almost out of normal gas. I mean, we could try it this way. Um, back to the basement, I guess. And to elevator. We need the key for the elevator. We need the fucking key for the elevator. Okay. Hop. So we go in here. 
And yeah, it needs another slot, so I don't know what it needs for that. It needs a cylindrical object. We haven't found a cylindrical object yet. Um, put that in there. So that's full. Yes, I poured some powder into the funnel. Okay, so that's full now. The gauge indicates that the machine is full. But we need to find another cylinder. Um, but I don't know where that would be. It's definitely not here. Oh, we still have sleeping powder. Okay. Because it just dawned on me that maybe I shouldn't have put it in the machine yet because we don't have... Um, we don't have the canister because I can't find it anywhere. Uh, I don't want to go this way. I want to go up to... Actually, I want to go up to the second floor. I think I'm gonna talk to my neighbor. Talk to my neighbor. And see. See what happens. Just a moment, dear. I'll be right with you. Why, hello, Mr. Nev. I'm sorry to disturb you again, Edie. Oh, don't worry, young man. One of my guests just abandoned me, so we had to put the bridge game on hold. What can I do for you? There's something important we need to talk about. Oh, I can see that you're upset. Why don't you come in, dear? Let's discuss it over a cup of Lady Grey. That always suits the nerves. I like that they mention Lady Grey, by the way, by the way because everybody always goes on about Old Grey. Uh, Old Grey, <laughs> Old Grey, Old Greg! <laughs> uh, Earl Grey, Jesus. Earl Grey, which is like the most common like English tea that people always think about. But Lady Grey is really nice because it's slightly milder and it has a really lemony taste. I love my tea, by the way. So if you love tea, try Lady Grey. It's, it's really good. I need to make Edie fall asleep. But how do I do that? Surely I can't just knock her out. Sure you can. Sure. Just, you know, just knock her over the head. Examine chest. The old chest has the year 1837 painted on it. It's full of bedding. Cool. Um, right, let's go... Um, oh, enter the bedroom. I don't want to be in there. Do I? Kitchen. Where's the living room? Oh, I'm putting the kettle on, my dear. I'll t it'll take a while to uh, boil, but we can talk in the meantime. Okay. Mr. Nev, allow me to induce, introduce Peggy D Driscoll to my left. Charmed, I'm sure. And Bucky Bradshaw to my right. Hello, Mr. Nev. They're two of my most trusted friends. Anything you can say to me, you can say to them. Why don't you take a seat and tell us what's been bothering you? Okay. So, Mr. Nev, tell us what's on your mind. Mmm, how to break this cookie, jeez. Uh, I could use a hot cup of tea right now. Uh, I need to put you to sleep to enter your dreams. <laughs> what would happen if you say that? I'm gonna say that. Is that a form of rhyming slang? You youngsters are so creative. What is that supposed to mean? I have no idea. I want to see you flounder and hear your screams. <laughs> Why would you say a thing like that? I, I don't know. It was all I could come up with on such short notice. 
Anything above shouting is too much, I'd say. Excuse me. <gasps> Sorry, dear. I guess we trailed off a bit there. Now, what was it you wanted to tell us? Um, I could use a hot cup of tea right about now. Yes, let me get the pot. That was the only word I could rhyme on dream. <laughs> tea is preferred beverage of gentlemen and scholars. Sorry, dear. I guess we trailed off a bit there. Now, what was it you wanted to tell us? So this is just... I'm afraid the tea is getting gold, you guys. Right. I think... What I need to do... Right, I'm gonna ignore what she says for a second. Examine teapot. Old people tend to like this style of teapot. I like that style of teapot, excuse me. Okay, so what I think what we need to do is that we need to spike the tea. But how are we gonna do that? Yeah, so we need to put the put her to sleep without alerting the other two. Which means that uh, I'll put some more water in. <laughs> As head protection. <laughs> Edie won't appreciate me rummaging through her kitchen. I didn't mean that. I want to put some water in it. Fill the pot with water. Okay, turn off water. And then put it stove. And turn on stove. I don't want to pick it back up. <laughs> Is it on? Yeah. Turn on lamp. Okay. So that's that's going. Uh, so if I request another pot of tea... Because I don't think any of this conversation will get anywhere. I think it is going to go weird. Would it be possible to request another cup of your delicious tea? Yes, I'll go put a fresh kettle on. A fresh cup would be perfect right about now. That's what they said last election. Today's youth is all about coffee. And that be the day. Okay, so I'm going to... <laughs> it's a special blend indeed. Put the powder in the teapot. Put some sleeping powder into the teapot. Right, so if I now request some more tea... Everybody should fall asleep, and then we can go into Edie's dream. Hopefully. I think that's how it goes. I hope that's how it goes. So, Mr. Neff, tell us what's on your mind. I don't, I want tea. Yes, but I can't hear the water boiling yet. I'm pretty sure I put it on. Good tea always tastes better in a nice cup. I want tea. Gimme. She did put it on, didn't she? Was that it? Nope. Okay, let's uh, let's just do one of the conversations then. If she's she probably I probably need to select one of these. So what shall we do? Our landlord just died in the basement. He died. You mean he's drunk on the job? In my day, we called it corpsing. No, he's not drunk. He actually died. Good riddance. They never last, do they? I had a landlord die on me once. He was old, and I wasn't actually around when he kicked it. But apparently he shot himself in the middle of the yard. He used a fine caliber birdshot, so it took him a week to die from the injury. They had to guard him in shifts to keep him from pulling the IV out of his arm. That's horrible. Good landlords are hard to come by these days. Okay, can, can I please have tea? Fuck. Why? <laughs> I don't care. I 
Okay, let's let's enter the kitchen. Maybe we should turn the hob off. No, it's on. So, what am I supposed to do? Oh, maybe just put put the pot like put it in. The pot needs to contain water. It has no water. I put water in it. What? What? You saw me. You saw me put water in. Fuck. <laughs> Why? There. You happy now? <laughs> the stove's on. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna sit back down. <laughs> I don't want to tell you anything. Give me tea. I don't care. Give me coffee. Uh, give me. You got me. Uh, give me tea. <laughs> I've been baking for ten days straight. <laughs> oh, come on. Okay, what else shall we talk about? Uh, the landlord is surveying every apartment in the estate. Survey? There's a hidden... Hey, I hear the water! Okay. Give me stuff. <laughs> I can show you the room with the monitors if you want proof. No need, dear boy, I believe you. It reminds me of an event I experienced back in the 50s. I was uploading a survey card when all of a sudden I heard gunshots going off around me. Preferring safe to sorry, I ducked behind a nearby dumpster. As I hunkered down, thinking my last moment had come, I noticed that the gunfire had stopped as quickly as it had started. Turns out, I had just overinflated the tires a bit. <laughs> the heat made them pop. I never made that mistake again, let me tell you. Duck and cover is the greed I live by. Okay, can I now have my tea? Uh Yes, let me go get you a pot, the pot, even. <laughs> ah, the memories of sweet tea and all night dancing. You have to give me the recipe, darling. Okay, let's, let's drink. I'm afraid the tea is getting cold, guys. Yes, we mustn't let the tea get cold again. Good call, Victor. Up, 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 up. Is this a different brand from before? No, it should be the same. This batch seems a bit off though. <laughs> it's a slightly chalky aftertaste. I, I don't feel so good. I, I think I'm gonna... Yeet! <laughs> yes! How do you feel about that? Huh? <laughs> cool. So they are sleepy bye bye. So that means that we can put you with a. I can't reach her while sitting down. You're right there. Where are you? Alright. We ready? Looks strangely familiar. Am I still in her apartment? And where's the tentacle hiding? Better find Edie. She might be able to help me in here. Alright. So we are now in Edie's dream. It looks a little bit well sad. Like she doesn't have a lot to dream about. Her apartment is in bits and is not complete. Which is kind of depressing. But she seems happy enough in real life, so, you know. But yeah, thank you so much for joining me on this wild trip that is the Dream Machine. And I hope you still enjoy it, as always. <laughs> thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you when I see you.